But first tonight, exposure to radioactive waste has the federal government responding. It was in the park that I played in repeatedly for years. North St. Louis County teachers, parents and residents fed up and fearful facing the aftermath of a World War II nuclear weapons program. Growing contamination concerns surrounding the Coldwater Creek. Good evening, I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. As Jana Elementary prepares to shut down the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, it's preparing to conduct its own testing. And new tonight, Brett Sullivan is live to explain how those who grew up in that area are now voicing their concerns and frustrations. Brent. They certainly are. It's closing time here at Jana Elementary. Come tomorrow. This school has been here since the 1970s. And tonight, questions are even mounting from those who did not go to school here. You know, I'm sick. I have several autoimmune diseases. Karen Nickel heads the group Just Moms STL, educating people about radioactive waste. Tuesday, she spoke before the Hazelwood School Board after a third party group found high levels of radioactivity at Jana Elementary. Do you feel like you were exposed? Yes, no doubt. Um, the creek would flood, it would come up in my neighborhood, it would be out of its banks, it would dry, it would leave thorium particles. She grew up along the Coldwater Creek. Um, I have lupus, psoriatic arthritis, and Sjogren's disease. And you believe in your heart of hearts, much of this is an impact of your childhood. I do believe that. She points to a 2019 public health assessment by the CDC, which took a close look at the creek and risks of exposure. And they did find that yes, there were ways that people could have been harmed. Already, people are reaching out to Just Moms via Facebook with questions. I'm seeing some that are reporting, yes, I went to Jana, um, you know, I've had brain cancer, I've had um, different types of cancers or autoimmune illnesses and types of things. It comes as the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers announced Thursday it will conduct its own testing at Jana come Monday, testing the inside and outside of the school. Do I believe that they could come in and, and clean this up properly? I do. They are the experts to clean this up. I do believe that. We've got a generation of children at Jana School that has bomb waste in, in their school and on their playground. Um, I don't want those children to end up being sick like me. Jana Elementary will go virtual come Monday. Today, St. Louis County Executive Sam Page praised the Hazelwood School District for making that call. How long this school building will remain closed, no one knows. Live in North St. Louis County tonight, Brent Solomon, five on your side.